from a self-proclaimed king, a celery in a swimsuit, and regalia's version of Deku, we now welcome a new member of the 5 star water swords, Samurai Ieyasu. He is a limited unit, an interesting choice, given that all previous summer units are permanent. This also makes him, a lot harder to obtain than even Gala units. His summer version is teased in the videos from the Twitter account of Regalia Lost, but his design here gives me an intriguing question, particularly that speedboat, which I previously thought did not exist in the world of Regalia Lost, as well as other motor vehicles. Design aside, his kit arrangement is quite interesting. He sports two forms of afflictions, low SP costs, and a semblance to his original version through his abilities. Let's take a look into his kit in further detail. His first skill, Unrelenting Waves, costs 2714 SP. It is a tree phase skill, with the initial phase dealing 900% damage. The second phase additionally inflicts bleeding, and the third phase deals an additional frostbite and dispel. Another feature of this skill is that during phases 1 and 2, the skill gauge completely fills itself after use, allowing phase 3 to be achieved much faster than other skills with skill shift. Its icon also changes with every phase. Though this skill has low damage modifiers, it has a low SP cost, built-in skill prep, and dual damage over time afflictions. This makes him an excellent bleeding, and frostbite offense support. Overall, this skill is an excellent affliction skill, that is multi-phase, but without the main downside of skills with skill shift. His second skill, Wim Grace Wave, is also a low cost skill, costing 3372 SP. It deals 2100% damage, and has increased damage against bleeding foes, up to 2520%. It also functions like an Ajito weapon skill, alternating between two variants. Its variant also deals 2100% damage, also has the same damage mods against bleeding foes, and provides a strength amp. Like most Gully units, it has a maximum team strength amp level of 3. This skill has incredible damage modifiers for its cost, and the inclusion of an alternating mechanic is an interesting choice by the developers. The high level limit strength amp is a welcomed addition to this otherwise appearly high damage skill. Overall, this skill is a powerful damage dealing skill with an interesting choice of mechanics. For co abilities, he possesses the typical dragon haste ability and a good strength boost ability triggered by inflicting frostbite. This is great for a team with multiple frostbite enablers, but may diminish in usefulness in long drawn out battles, or against enemies resistant to frostbite, which honestly it's not normally possible, as all flame enemies are not resistant. For abilities, he does not have an ability exclusive to himself, but he has some excellent ones. His bleeding devastator is the first of its kind, and might be available with other units in the future. It increases crit rate by 15% against bleeding enemies. Considering bleeding does not build up resistance, it's almost guaranteed to trigger, limited by his own base bleeding chance. Ieyasu also has additional 20% crit damage, making him a unit with a higher base crit damage, increasing damage output. His stun resist ensures that he can resist from being immobilized, but requires more careful movements when inflicted with burn. Summary Ieyasu's main appeals are his low SP costs, and the ability to inflict both bleeding and frostbite. The former makes the need for skill haste quite a bit redundant, the latter makes the use of both Punisher prints viable in the 4 star slots. Other offensive abilities are also applicable on him. For dragons, the newcomer, and also his packed bound dragon, Summer Marishitan, is a perfect match. The high strength mods and additional skill damage when team strength amp is active, can make him, or any offensive strength amp enabling water unit very powerful. Her dragon skill is also interesting, guaranteed to inflict bleeding, and grants a team strength amp directly, rather than starting from self amp. Gala Reborn Poseidon is the generally recognized choice for most offensive water units, no doubt due to its high strength and damage modifiers. 
The twin rabbits are great for skill spamming, and perfect for anyone using Ieyasu for spamming his skills for damage and afflictions. Siren is a decent choice, if you want to capitalize on his relatively high skill damage of his second skill. Dragon Yule Jane and Liv Arthan are decent options, with the former bringing good crit rate, but harder to obtain, and the latter much more easily obtainable, while having an acceptable strength mod. For weapons, the best choices is always, and always has been, the Ajito weapons. The Amenomi Rakumo in particular provides good strength and crit rate boost through its first variant of the skill, the crit rate complementing well with his higher base crit damage. The Absolute Appa is the second best option for him, applicable to all High Dragon weapons. It provides comparable stats, though does not have impressive skills, which can be compensated by suitable shared skills. My Wimprint setup for him is comprised of standard offensive prints, including both Punisher prints for Bleeding and Frostbite. I do not include Skill Haste, but you can equip it, if you prefer more skill spamming. Other suitable prints are shown here. Summary Yesu is a force, to be reckoned with in the battlefield. He can cast skills incredibly quickly thanks to the low SP costs, and being a sword unit grants more flexibility in playstyle. His ability to cast two afflictions fits the meta too, allowing additional overall damage output. His higher base crit damage also provides him additional power. Though he is strong, he certainly has weaknesses. The first one, that I can reasonably think of is the reliability of his bleeding devastator, as Ieyasu's bleeding, has an 80% base chance, with 20% chance to miss. Granted, this skill is spammable, so this weakness is a bit of a stretch. The second weakness is more like a disappointment, and it's his limited status. This makes him unobtainable in banners outside of this particular banner in future reruns. But overall, Summary Ieyasu is one of the most powerful water units in the meta, and certainly a viable unit in many endgame content. Now go out there, and suppress the desire, to roll for him before the last day of the free summons with your limited Wimite stash. That's all from me. Moga out.